In an isolated mountain valley on the southern edge of the former Soviet Union stands a cliff honeycombed with caves. This place is called Vardja. It's a network of cave dwellings built in the 12th century by the kings and queens of Georgia. In the more than 800 years since this cave city was built, it has been destroyed by an earthquake and by invading armies. It looks all but deserted now, but there are people living here, a small group of monks who have become the virtual protectors of this ancient site. Meet Father Lazar. He's one of a handful of Georgian Orthodox monks who lives here in the cliffs. He takes us into the tunnels and caves he calls home. This is a little cave chapel here. You can see the arches just carved right out of the rocks and decorated with frescoes that probably go back at least eight centuries. The Varja monks get their water from a spring named after the queen who built this place. These are Tamar's tears. And like their ancestors, the monks live in simple one-room caves. And he says that in the winter, uh, this is a uh, quiet place. There's snow, the trees die, uh, and it's a... Uh, holy place. It's uh, a spiritual place. But the valley may not look like this much longer because there are big plans to turn Vardja into a major tourist destination. There is no infrastructure developed at all so we are going to develop and that's why the Rakhine, Rakhine is going to invest uh, the, uh, up to 20, 20 million dollars and we are going to build there the four-star hotel uh, and the villas also. The final concept of the hotel isn't complete yet, but this Emirati company hopes to eventually offer hunting, rafting and camping trips to visiting tourists. The new hotel is expected to be built right here. So Father Lazar says it would have been better not to plan to build a hotel directly across from Vardzia and the monastery. But he says it'll probably be good for the tourists. If developers succeed in turning Vardzia into a major tourist attraction, the monks' lonely place for meditation may not stay quiet for much longer. Ivan Watson, CNN, Vardzia, Georgia.